Today's secret is about the Solvent Library. The Solvent Library which is embedded in the i300 and the i300 Pro. And I would like to show you how it works and what the advantages are. So first I would like to show you the Solvent Library of the i300 Pro. We can find it under this library icon and then Solvent Library. And there is a complete list of a lot of different solvents. Let's have a look at acetone for example. First, we look at these two numbers over here. One is the heating bath temperature, which is taken from the heating bath directly. So if the set temperature of the heating bath is 50 degrees, it shows 50 degrees, and of the chill. You can of course as well change it to a different temperature. Based on these two values and the selected solvent, a vacuum is calculated and the boiling point is calculated. Once I'm happy with all these numbers, I can just press OK. And now it shows over here that we have a dynamically set vacuum. Now what is that? That is actually a patented mechanism in order to start quicker with the distillation. Which means, at the moment, the heating bath is only at 26 degrees and the chiller is at 20 because we are at room temperature. So if I press start now, what will happen is that the distillation will actually try to start and it will adjust this vacuum to the middle one. So the delta T is the same below and above the uh, boiling point. That means immediate start by using the solvent library. Let's talk about the solvent library on the i300. We can simply go into the menu and just scroll to the same library icon, go into the solvent library and in here I find exactly the same list. I can use exactly the same functions whereas I don't see what will be the projected boiling point and nor the vacuum. But the rest is exactly the same. I can select acetone, click OK by doing the wheel and I'm exactly at the same position as I have been with the i300 Pro before. In addition to the inbuilt solvent library, I would like to show you another feature only the i300 Pro has, which is the own solvent library. By doing that, you can create your own solvent, you can select a name for your solvent, a boiling point and a B constant, which you find in literature. So by doing that, you can easily just add your own solvents to the system. So now, after I've explained the solvent library on the i300 Pro and on the i300, I would like to quickly summarize. The main advantage is you know which solvent you're using, but you don't know what is the boiling point or what is the required vacuum. And of course, the dynamic distillation. As I said before, you can just simply select the solvent, press start and the system will do the distillation fully autonomous.